Okay, I want to talk about the for each method and how we can create a polyfill so that we can use the for each method on node lists. Now, originally, the for each method was purely for arrays. That's where it was first added. So it was a, a great way you can call a function for every element inside the array using the for each. However, when you're working with HTML, what we're doing very often is we're calling query selector all to fetch a whole bunch of elements from the page and then we're looping through those and we want to do something with each one of those elements from the list. Now when you call query selector all what we're getting back is a node list. Instead of an array it's a node list and the node list object did not have a for each method so we couldn't just say document query selector all, find my object, put that into a variable and then the variable dot for each. That wouldn't work up until very recently. So recently they have added, and here's the dates for the releases where they added it. So in Chrome 51, Opera 38, Safari 10, Firefox 50, MS Edge 15, in those versions they actually added a for each method to the node list object. These are the dates when those were added. So in the last two years all the browsers gained support, but not everybody updates their browser right away, and especially on mobile devices, not everybody is updating the browser that they're using on their mobile device. Since 60% of traffic out there is on mobile devices, it means we really should not assume yet. If you assume a three-year window, there I go, assuming, um, if we think that there's going to be a three-year period where people update their phones, after three years, pretty much everybody is going to have a new phone, which means they're going to have the most up-to-date operating system and most up-to-date browsers and people on their laptops are much more likely to have updated their browser or gotten a new browser that they're using. So three years from now, if we're looking at, or three years from when the last browser was updated, MS Edge, we're looking at April 2020 before we can really say, okay, let's just forget about the polyfill altogether. In the meantime, if you're only writing something that's for the latest devices, the latest browsers, you don't have to worry about this. But if you have to do any sort of backward compatibility, any at all, then you do need to keep this in mind. So how does this work? Well, Query Selector All is going to give us a node list. So let's create our node list. Let nl equal document.querySelectorAll and I want to find these paragraphs. So I just put them there as placeholders. I'm going to find all the paragraphs on my page. That is my node list. Now if this were an array, I could just say for each and then call my function inside there. But I can't if I'm using something that is pre any of these versions. So how do we do this? Well, we need to call the array version of this. So I can create a new array and do that. And the quickest way to do that is with this. This declares, creates a brand new array. So if I create an empty array, and then I'm going to call for each. So without the parentheses at the end here, I'm referring to the function. This is just like here, I've got a function called loopy. Actually, I should fix this. There we go. So here's the name of my function. I'm calling it here. I'm passing this name into the click listener so that it can be called later on. I'm doing the same sort of thing here without the parentheses. I'm just referring to the name of the method saying, okay, you know the for each method that belongs to the arrays? I'm going to call that. So we can use dot apply or dot call. Either one's going to work. And if you're not sure how those works, I do have a link up here to the original video that I did about the for each method and a video about using call and apply. So you can watch those. Node lists, if you're not sure exactly what those are, I've got a video about that as well. So all of this will be in the code gist. So we find the for each method inside the array object and we're gonna call that. So this is just if NL were an array What I've got here is kind of equivalent. 
except inside here I have to say what's the context for calling for each? What is the thing that we're doing this on? And I could put NL inside there. So I'm going to say that this line is roughly equivalent to this line. I'm going to call the for each method and this is the thing that I'm going to loop through. So in modern browsers that support for each on node lists, we can just do this. If we're talking about browsers that might be slightly dated, I mean, we're really only talking about a year and a bit, but slightly dated ones, we do it this way. And then the second argument, this becomes our function. So here's the function that we're going to call. Now I can put the name of a function, I can have an anonymous function, I can use an ES6 function if I want, one of the arrow functions, and here's my item and the index and so on. Inside my loop, this is where I was just going to do something just to demonstrate it. I have my page here, here's my four paragraphs with the text, and I'm going to add the CSS class new onto here. So I'm going to change the font weight and change the color of the text just to know that this has worked and it's been applied. So inside of here we're going to say item. That is going to represent each one of the paragraphs inside this node list. So item class list dot add new. And what am I missing here? Class list add new. Oh, I'm not missing anything. This is only going to be called when I click on the H1. That was my delay that I put in there intentionally. So when I click on this, that's what's going to apply this. It's going to call this function. So we click here, and there we are. There's the new class being applied. So really, all this just to say that the new browsers support the for each method on node list objects. Older browsers don't. This is the hack. This is the way that we can get around that. It's the polyfill is what normally it's called. The for each polyfill for the node list object. Okay, so I hope that helps you. If you ever run into a problem where you're trying to loop through a node list and it just it's not working, this is probably the cause of that. Any questions, please leave in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.